How you doing, fight fans? This is Boxing Knowledge coming at you once again um, with my second video on the Carl Froch versus Andre Matrix Jarrell uh, fight. And um, I recorded a previous video on it, but something happened during the upload, and I'm just um, uh, getting a chance to finally say all my thoughts out there. So let's get down to it. Um, and my, I believe I got this prediction right. Um, not on paper, but seriously, we all saw this fight, and Andre Durrell won this fight hands down. It was a close fight, but I gave the fight by at least three rounds to Andre the Matrix Durrell. Um, Carl Frotch composed himself as a champion in his hometown. That had a lot to do with it. Yes, Andre Durrell was very whiny. Yes, he he was boxing in a way that, you know, he was fighting his fight, okay? Um, Carl Frotch wanted to make it a brawl. Obviously, it would have been to his benefit. Andre Durrell wasn't having it. Yes, he clinched strategically a lot. Yes, he, he, he whined all the time. Is it surprising to me that he did not get the decision? No, because of his ring generalship because of the way he conducted himself um, it's kinda like when I was in school and I was younger um, I was a bit of a wild child you know that's why I channeled my energy into boxing I boxed for a long time and um, I always got very very good grades but my behavior scores were very bad because I was a wild child okay um, so I never really got the, the recognition the recognition that I deserved even though I did really well in school, I was always a wild child. Uh, I disrupted a lot of classes, just looking for attention. I don't really want to get into my personal life, but that is the best analogy that I can come up with to describe what happened there with Andre Durrell and Carl Froch. Andre Durrell showed all the skill, um, excelled with his speed, with his precision, uh, with his footwork, just like I said. And in my opinion, he should have won the fight. But, and I hate to admit it, but Carl Frotch is right. You can't expect to take the title uh, from the champion in his home when you conduct yourself in the way that Andre Durrell did. All that being said, let's get down to the fight. Carl Frotch looks like a powerful bear trying to swat a fly, like I stated in my previous video. Andre Durrell's head movement was amazing. His speed was just leagues above Carl Froch's speed. He landed the more effective punches. He had Carl Froch hurt. And the only reason why he did not knock out Carl Froch was because he... It was, it was like uh, the round was over. There was only a few seconds left in the round. He hurt Carl Froch. Um, Carl Froch, in my opinion, landed maybe two, two punches that caught... Uh, Andre Durrell pretty flush. Other than that, it, in my opinion, Andre Durrell dominated that fight. And it was his whiny, you know, attitude that clouded a lot of the judges' minds. Mind you, the two judges that scored the fight for Carl Froch were European. Um, they don't like the American arrogance. And I get it, you know. Um, I'm not here to... to, to, to and I said to bash the judges, all right? I put myself in their shoes. Maybe if I was watching it there and I had the intelligence that they had and I was in the position that they were and I see this, this guy with all the skill and potential in the world but whining all the time, hey, maybe I would have scored the same. Nevertheless, Andre Durrell, in my opinion, got robbed. He got robbed, okay? Um, it was a close fight, but I just don't... I just. I would have, I mean, at the very least, I would have given him a draw. He would not have taken the title, but he would have gotten a draw. You guys saw the fight, guys. I mean, all, all you people watching this from the UK, I mean, leave your comments, but you, you know, don't be blinded. Don't be blinded by, by the facts. Yeah, Andre Durrell w w w was whiny. Yeah, he clinched a lot. You know, Carl Frotch was, is, I've never, he's one of the dirtiest fighters in this sport, in my opinion, from that fine on. He held and punched him and, 
and and I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna talk about about the, the punches in the back of the head because you know Andre Durrell looked for it really you know during those clinches and the way that he moved of course he get punched in the back of the head but he actually held and grabbed Andre Durrell and punched him and, and just employed every, almost every dirty tactic in the book okay um, all that aside Andre Durrell outboxed him landed the more significant punches. The only thing Carl Franz had going for him, the only thing, and I challenge you to prove me wrong, the only thing that he showed in that fight, boxing-wise, I'm not talking about his composure because he composed himself very well, was his aggression. He desperately tried to, to corner Andre, but Andre was too fast. Anyway, guys, I don't want to ramble. Andre, if you're watching this, I highly doubt it. You won this fight. In my opinion, you're undefeated. Um, in my opinion, you should be the WBC Super Middleweight Champion of the World. That's what I feel. He was robbed. This decision, in my opinion, was bad for boxing. Um, it hurts the sport that I hold so dear to my heart. And what can I say? But it's boxing. It happens. Um, I hope that Andre can learn from this. I hope he can learn to comport, to 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 conduct himself in in a in a mad manner worthy to be called a champion. Nevertheless, his skills were enough to win that fight, in my opinion. He made Carl Frost look like a fool at times. Carl Frost has been exposed for the second time in his career. His last two fights, he has been exposed. Um. What can I say, guys? Uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, uploading my prediction video on Arthur Abraham versus Andre the Matrix Durrell. That's going to be interesting. Um, I'm going to do it right now, so I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to subscribe and leave your comments. Good, bad, I could care less.